Meat and dairy may be flying off the shelves at your grocery store, but farmers in your backyard are seriously hurting. With restaurants and schools closed, the bulk of their product isn't going anywhere. As Eyewitness News reporter Jalisa Irigzari explains, farmers fear it's going to get worse. A quick drive an hour south will help you escape noise. But even for those in the country, things are just a little too quiet. Oh, for sure. Especially for farmers like Russell Baining. There's some serious, serious pain going on in, in just about every seg segment of agriculture. That's because the coronavirus is plowing through yet another industry. Whether it's milk, whether it's beef, every commodity has pretty much dropped 20 to 30 percent in price in the last three to four weeks. Baining would know. He's not only a Wilson County farmer, he's also the president of the Texas Farm Bureau. And he's bracing for what's to come as meat processing plants continue to close. Everybody's very concerned about this, Jaleesa. Meat plants across the country have had to close or cut back on business as they try to keep workers healthy and the environment sanitized. But that has a ripple effect on ranchers who have cattle ready to be processed. We want to keep the plants open. We understand that the workers have to be kept safe as well. Uh, but it's very important, you know, not only for the economic well-being of, of, of the producer, but to keep enough uh, uh, food on the shelves for, uh, for consumers. Consumers, they hope, see the real trouble agriculture is in. As the USDA works to make relief money available for these farmers, Baining hopes this disease toils through fast. Yes, ma'am. And the country can once again be at peace. Julie Rosari, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.